for two minutes. I thank the gentleman. Um, it's interesting as we throw all these numbers around, uh, I guess they mean a lot on the floor debate, but to the real people that are suffering, they don't really mean anything. There's an old adage that says there are lies, damn lies, and statistics. The fact are we're throwing numbers around here like they matter, but the fact is there are real people's lives that are being hurt, being destroyed. In fact, I read an article uh, just a few months ago that the community college where I met my wife is actually uh, notifying 1,300 employees, 700 of them, that were adjunct professors that their hours are going to be reduced and they are being reduced because of this law. They're being hurt. Guess we can quote them a statistic and tell them, go on your merry way. I know you can't uh, uh, pay for your mortgage. I know you can't make your car payment. You can't pay for your child's uh, college education. But we got this uh, great statistic that we just got out of Congress that ought to make you feel better about your life. Uh, the fact is, we ought to be more concerned about individuals than we are throwing numbers around. I understand CBO also said that uh, total implementation of Obamacare would cost $2.1 million. Fact is, we can use statistics to say just about whatever we want them to say. But real people's lives are being hurt, and we have a responsibility here in this body to do everything that we can to try to raise the, 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 the lifestyle in this country, not degrade it. People are losing their jobs. My son, my son lost his insurance because of Obamacare. He was one of that small percentage, again, a statistic, uh, that uh, we were quoted. But the fact is he lost his insurance. And now he just in, in, uh, told us that he's having his third child. The first two children were delivered by a doctor that they know and trust. But because of Obamacare, their doctor is not covered under their new policy. To add insult to injury, uh, when he went on the exchange to sign up after he was told that his policy was no longer covered because of Obamacare, his premiums went up uh, from 450 a month to 850 a month. That's hardly helping people. I think that it's uh, safe to note this uh, law was passed without one Republican, and it's time that we uh, stop you, uh, our high horse of statistics and actually care about people. Gentlemen's time's expired.